Lottery again. Oh my god, my heart can take this one. This deck is actually like a Gumba deck. Uh, <coughs> lottery deck. Let's go. Oh no, please. I feel like a fort or anything else. Just not. Oh, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> actually, really funny. How is that going guys, Vika Vika is here and I am back with another banger list. Today, we'll be playing Imperial Formation with Soldier and um, Disloyal Spying Package. It's not really a spying package, I think it's more of like a mid-range kind of nerf guard. So, you know, we have um, our value points such as Terra Nova, Bribery, we have our Toll Punish, um, Villiga Force, Thinning with a lot of points, uh, Coup de Gras, Joachim, playing the Soldier Package, uh, Ramon, Locks, Imperial Brigade, and um, Enforcers. So I think this is kind of like a really weird deck because of the recent buffs of Amnesty. I kind of want to try um, playing a standard kind of like Nilfgaard deck. This is very, um, I, I would say traditional. Um, this used to be a kind of like Soldier Ball. So this um, Terra Nova used to be Ball, a Masquerade Ball, but it's now 14 provisions. We can't really fit this in. And because it used to be able to combo with Joachim and Roderick, um, it can no longer do that. It has to be on your side of the battlefield, uh, the aristocrats. So um, we, we're changing the ball to uh, Terra Nova. Okay, so the reason why I choose Terra Nova here is because, you know, Terra Nova, um, no brainer, is a really good value card if you're able to, you know, get a good unit opponent's unit that is good uh, spy tag and we could you know give spy tags to opponent's unit with Fergus so because it's we're playing a devotion elf guards deck um, we're able to give simultaneously three enemy units spying and I think that's really good combined with uh, Impera enforcers so yeah that's why we're trying a kind of like uh, disloyal kind of stuff so if we're playing a simulate package, right, usually you want to play um, Mace Torter instead of, uh, you know, Fergus. But we're not really playing a simulate because I think with a simulate there's been some, you know, um, nerfs. The deck is not really as strong as it used to be, mainly because of the provision nerfs to Brethens. So, so, so here's the weird thing, right? A simulate is a deck that is really good in the long round but I think with um, this day's deck we we kind of really need tempo <coughs> or some some form of control to the round like that's why assimilate is not as good as it used to be because usually you're just gonna get bled in round two and your engine is not gonna get enough value and you you know because you're holding on to your mage torture the whole time because you want to give spying to a good enemy gold um you're losing a simulate value on this card and you know you're losing value on your terra nova as well because you're not able to slam terra nova and get the simulate value right away so um yeah we're not playing um invocation we're choosing to play bribery like we could play one amnesty and change bribery to invocation but I kind of want to see how good this Amnesty card really is. The buffs to 5 provision is kind of like relevant because now um, it used to be 6. Like 6 is a 6 provision card, a bronze provision card. Usually in Gwent, it's like the broken, like the card with high ceiling. And Nilfgaard really doesn't have that. Um, there is no high ceiling card on Nilfgaard except for, uh, I guess, Viper Witch Mentor. It's very situational. So, you know, I mean, it's, it's kind of like the theme with six provision cards, right? Uh, gold, uh, bronze provision cards. And Syndicate, they have Townsfolk, um, the Fire Sworn, um, the, the card that could go really, really tall. Um, and Skellige, they used to have um, great swords, and now they change it to the beast the rain beast and Nilfgaard has this but it's kind of like um it's it's, it's, it's kind of like the same kind of design right high high ceiling card but um since amnesty got moved to five it no longer it you know it's i think 
like the card that used to be six provision now is a five provision like I, I, that, that's i think that's kind of big honestly and i don't know how big it's gonna be how in fact how impactful it's gonna be but yeah i kind of want to try it out um since also amnesty when we see as an enemy unit um the unit that we see is gain gains a spying tag so that means we could synergize um amnesty with terra nova or Imperial Enforcer, so yeah, this deck is actually, I kind of like spying um, disloyal, it's not really disloyal, it's like spying tag uh, mid-range, so yeah, it's gonna be really cool, um, I think the game plan is gonna be try to win round 1, bleed round 2, smork round 2, try to get to 2-0, cheeky 2-0, maybe, but yeah, we'll see, we don't, we're not running Purify, so I think that's kind of like the issue with this deck, we don't, we only want Toll Removal, one toll removal no purify we're playing two locks so this deck has a lot of control and yeah we're playing usurper plays really well into enforcer yet again and it triggers assimilate for terra nova i think this card is really solid i mean it's 12 provision it used to be 10 provisions but you know it is what it is yeah overall really excited to try this out um and we'll see how it goes Okay, first match of the day, we're up against, uh, is this Spencer Maneuver? If it's Spencer Maneuver, we might be up against, okay, it's Spencer Maneuver, um, Priestess deck, no-brainer. So, if they're playing Priestess, that means they're playing Siege Engines too. And since we have a lot of luck here, oh, dude, this slug is going to be playing for a lot of value, right? We can lock their engine, like all that stuff. And Seize, oh my goodness. Um, so how do we want to do this? We just want to get away the Enforcers, I think. Um, uh, maybe we don't need to, we don't need two of them. So we have deploy, deploy, two deploys, I think we're good. I, I don't really want to keep bronzes, I mean golds in hand, but this is fine. And it's fine. So, um, we kind of want to win round one, but we didn't have our, you know, um, crossbowman. Ooh, I hope they don't play boiling oil. Uh, so I think we're just gonna boost this. Yeah. Should I play this melee if I want the got if I want to have the armor value? But I think it's fine. Like they can't boiling oil this anymore. These locks are gonna be insane. They play Carabalista, we lock. They play any stuff, we lock. I don't really wanna lock this. They could play whatever. Just play this. Okay. Don't really wanna lock you. Decree now. All right. So the thing is, do we lock this or do we do something about this? I don't believe they're gonna use the charge now. Um, just gonna lock it. If they play Istred, we'll lock it too. Okay, what you gonna do now? Is thread. I believe they're gonna play is thread. Um, use their charge, boost the two of them. It's clicking this first. Okay, you should use their charge. Now I can lock it. You're not playing around the second lock. Disrespectful. Hmm. That's what you get. Now the stuff cannot be boosted, and uh, that's I think it's really big. Purify. Playing Purify. Okay. So, um, they're using all their stuff here. Gonna use it again. Okay. So, one of them is a unit, right? What if I just pass here? They need. Uh, kind of bad 
we don't have a good target for our stuff mm. we definitely want one more bronze here to play like if we had curse bowman it would be really nice right mm. see what you got taller oh well it's an eight point i'll take the eight point Peller was five, right? Just playing the round. Okay. I think they're gonna go rid of it now. Um Yeah, that's completely fine. And it's a unit because Ice Thread doesn't boost itself. So this was a unit. I mean Deep. This is a really good value. We have armor, so we're not really worried about. Let me stop. Okay. Playing this. Mm. So they have Lasse. I believe they're just gonna pass, right? We we're out of locks, but the good thing is we still have important enforcers and Ramon. And we could mail their stuff in the Owing Kit. Hmm, interesting. I want you. We need a Ramon target. I kind of don't want to mulligan them Amnesty away. I think I should mulligan away the Ramon. In case we didn't find any runs. We don't... I mean, we have Meno for practice play. For a dry post card. E. We're using Meno? Dry pause. See the mulligan away to Ramon. Yeah, we don't have purify here. It's really bad, right? Oh, six charge. Okay. It's deploy gain six charge. Oh no. One of them down. One more to go. Hopefully this Joachim doesn't give us Affen, please. We're out of luck, so that's not good. But the good thing is, we could Vergus this guy. All right, are you a soldier? We kind of don't want to give him a soldier package, I mean a crew. Please, no a fun. Nice. Gets us ahead. They can't kill this. Unless they're running AC, artifact compression. Compression? Comp compress. It's fine. They're misplaced. They misplaced this, right? And they're fine. Like we won't have any other targets for uh, our Terranova. But is it worth it using the Fergus now? Especially, we could use Fergus later in the round, um, in in round three, because we still have another Imperial Enforcer. So I think. I'm just gonna hope that we missed. We want ideally, okay, ideally we got this tree out of this tree. We don't want enforcer. It's one out of five that we're using using the coup de gras here is really risky. But I I, I left the edge life, dude. I am I am the edge lord. Yeah, I am the lord of edge. Here comes the edge. Let's go. No crew. Okay, nice. So what do we need. I think we're just gonna amnesty here.
No Gigni, right? You don't play Gigni. Okay. I guess I should have pinged this, pinged this too. Set up the Amnesty. Um, yeah, I should have done that. Well, that's a bummer. Another, oh my god, dude, we could have set it up actually. That's kind of kind of a shame oh oh we don't want to do that we really have no play here Oh, this Ramon is not doing it for us. This Ramon is very bad for us. Maybe? I mean, this is like 10 points of value, right? Give the soldier synergy. It's really cool. Um, we don't need to boost this. It's not that big, right? I kind of want to give more armor to my stuff. But I think if we lose by two, like I'm just gonna accept that. I don't think we're gonna lose by two. Like this is two armors, right? This is two armors. I don't think we're gonna lose by two. We'll see. In charge. No, oh, this this Ramon is not doing it for us. We have a lot of points. Get armor, please. <laughs> uh, don't hit this one. Okay. One lost, no armor at all. It's a shame. Okay. We're not losing by two, right? So, um. They have a they had a heat wave in hand. I think we could have done this better. Maybe taller was the better um, play there. We could have had one in per enforcer. We could have killed the tritum. Could have killed this. Yeah. I think um, we could have. It's debatable. Just breaking the Ramon in round two was really bad for us, right? And yeah. I think this deck has some some potential and let's go to the next match. Alright. Um Frost. Oh. Um it's been a while since I've last seen White Frost, but since we're since we have a lot of armor, we might be favored against them. Amnesty is kinda good against their um five provision make something stuff. I don't need you. 
Okay, so if we want to contest this round, we could do it since we have Enforcers and Ramon. Mm, this is actually kind of good. We really need practice play. We could break the Imperial Brigade. That will be really bad, but... We'll see. Um... We don't want to play this guy first. It loses the armor. Honestly, we could just Ramon here. Like... I think I'm fine with using Ramon. I think I'm fine with using Ramon. Ooh, that was really bad, right? Just this. It gives us dominance, play around Toad Prince. Like, this deck has a lot of armor. We should be favored against White Frost. Should. Keyword being should. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I hope we are. Like, look at these armors, bro. These armors are insane. Insane value. Leader charge. Interesting. Okay. What are we doing this? Three armor. It's kind of like really good, right? They use the leader charge. Might be big. So, I don't really want to use Joachim now. That'd be pretty stupid. I think they're trying to play around... Um, they, they, they must think that I'm a Sahil deck or something. Playing around a disloyal tag. Losing value on their engines. And honestly, I'm totally fine with that. Totally fine with that. Um, we could pass here, go to a long round. It's actually like looking really bad for us. Mm. Can't turn over yet. Let's see what you got. You don't have dominance. Uh. Wow. Are, were they all bronze? They were all bronze, right? Am I tripping? Foglet, two dominance unit. Wow. I think it was all bronze. I'm not kidding. It was actually all bronze. What? Finally, something we can yoink. It was all bronze. Oh my god. Actually, factually, no kidding, Irino. 
Wow, I really want a Cantarella right now. They chose to play Caranthir instead of that. Might be Winter Quinn. Kinda. I mean, I think we're just doing this. Two rows or one row? What you gonna do? Oh, replay. It's gonna try to replay. Replay! Value! Which one? This one? Curse Bowman? I don't think you wanna move this one. Not gonna kill it, eh? Interesting. So our Terranova is currently not looking that great because we used Vergus to a not good unit. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, I should have played this on the leftmost side. Play around movement. Like they played Caranthir. They chose to play Neglefar. I think they have a really awkward hand. They don't have um, Ardgath in hand. That's for sure. They should. They would have spammed that um, from the get go if they have that card. Um, we don't have dominance. I am the Dominacione. Yeah. It's actually a really good value. Now it has armor. We have dominance. Pass, yeah, they have a really they have a really awkward hand. We guessed right. So, um I think we're just gonna try the smork. Hopefully we don't throw Afon. Um since we're out of Enforcer, we uh Amnesty is kinda looking really sussy. Really, really sussy. Actually sussy. Okay, um, <laughs> not that sussy anymore. Um, no, 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 no. I just don't want to break a fun man. Why? Why is this deck so scary? It doesn't have to be this scary. Oh, guaranteed pillar of forts. Yeah, I mean we're smorking, right? We don't have any luck. Yes, yeah, smork. I shall smork. Smork is the way. We don't have invocation, so that's kind of bad. Man. See? We, we could have... Put it on this card, man. Why are you so late, bro? Okay. Please. <laughs> just... You can use Philgo Force, just not a fun. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Play around movement. Ping this once. We could have yoinked this. I wanted to yoink this. But alas. Alas. Get to play the Roderick. Oh. What did they consume? Three base power. They consumed the four. Oh, he consumed the three. Is this? Oh, we yoinked one. What is this?
Lottery again. Oh my god, my heart can take this well. This deck is actually like a Gumba deck. Uh, <coughs> lottery deck. Let's go. Oh no, please. I feel like a fort or anything else. Just not. Oh, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> actually, really funny. Um, yeah. Oh, let's go. We didn't brick. Nice. <laughs> I don't think they have our gaze, though. Their hand is really awkward. Oh. I kind of want to try and two of this guy. Hmm. Maybe we could try and tow him. Yeah. I like the idea of towing this guy. He doesn't have art gaze, so. Uh, that's right. They have art gaze. Okay. They have a winter queen in hand? Oh god. Um Yeah, dude. I concur. I shall concur. It's gonna become a six. But I want to armor here, so. They can't really kill this right now. So we're just being chilling. Well, just, just mark this guy out. He doesn't have anything. Hard gate, I mean. Conquer into what? I have dominance. I am the dominance Giga Chad. No dominance? Dude. I have dominance. This is Yigern. I mean, this is Winter Queen, right? Winter Queen and something else. I have two here. Oh, yeah, they, they break with their queen. <laughs> they thought I was gonna dry pass, maybe. Nice! Oh, wait, white frost. Dude, this deck has potential. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? This deck has actually has potential. Anyway, yeah, uh, it was pretty unfortunate for Mr. Opponent. And let's move on to the next match. Alright, last match of the night. Um, Shield Wall. Okay, with Shield Wall. Uh, since we're playing a lot of locks, we should be fine. I hope we have a lot of control for their engines. Not a lot, but we have some. Um, Tony Jow is gonna be really good against Shield Wall, I think. Um, okay, okay. This hand is. is am I supposed to mulligan away turn away in round one? I, th I think I'm supposed to mulligan away turn away in round one. So we have two locks. I think we're just gonna use locks on the thing here. This handle looks fine, to be honest. It's very bronze-centric, though. But maybe that's fine. Okay. As usual, just boost this. Play around boiling oil. They have Toll Punish. Just use it, okay? We're fine. Yeah, sure, dude. Oh, look at this joust value. Out of here! Boom! Yo! The power of Tourney Joust, finally. This is what Tourney Joust is good at, right? Destroying 
engines. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mr. Fibonacci, calm down. <sighs> I mean, we have pings. We don't really need to lock it. Just ping it. They shield it, we ping it again. It's so, it's so not good. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to be forced to play Ram in this round. Since we're playing a lot of drones anyway. Yeah, I think I'm just going to use you. We're going to have a lot of one ping with this. It's going to be really good. Bang, bang, bang. This actually already played 847, right? It's insane. Okay, dude. Calm down. I need you to calm down, sir. Did I lock this? I don't want to lock this. I don't want to spend my lock here. Ah, uh, whatever. It's looking really scary. It's gonna, it's, anyway, okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. So we still have one damage here. Ooh! Oh. Wait, it has lock! How am I supposed to? Okay, dude. This is gonna give Mr. Phone an Arendite value now. Okay, dude. Another lock. Lock here seems really bad. They have like Keldar and other stuff that we want to lock. Maybe we'll get um, one Helm Fawn. Oh, maybe they play, you know, uh, Rugner. Maybe. Maybe not, maybe yes. Rugner value. I have two pings. I don't want to risk it. Risk it for the biscuit? No. Unlucky. Okay, I think we're just supposed to Rugner now. I think. Maybe. Oh god. Ring of favor? Rugna right now, boom! Yeah! Rugna! Woo! So, let's think about this. Um, if they play the six for vision shield, like the the fact that they use Ring of Favor there means that they're kind of like gold heavy. Um, Silver Nova is possible. Silver Nova is an eight. They use Little Charge. That's worth. I mean, if they use Little Charge, I kind of don't mind. Like I'm just gonna boost this by one. And if they use all their Little Charge, I'm like, yeah, sure. That card is cheating. Can we do something about that? Maybe we can. We cannot. Their hand is really awkward. I can smell it. I can smell it. Like, if we're trading our discards for their golds, I'm, I'm pretty fine with that. Like, let's, let's trade them. Alright. Why not locking this?
Um, Serenova is 8. They could play the charge. Like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. They played Fender Grift, so that's like a problem, right? I think they play Spores. I'm not sure. We'll see. Tyranova is not enough here, thankfully. Hmm. I think their last card is Rugner. Pass, yeah. They have Rugner in hand. So, um, we're going to a long round. It's not Erundite, that's for sure. Might be Golden Ecker. I'm not sure either. But we'll see. So, we're going to a long round. Um, still have Emperor Enforcers. I'm just gonna keep a fun. Yeah. Try to find golds. Those are not golds. Okay, we kinda need Joachim though. Like, we don't have any Arto Torn. Like,. We don't have any Terra Nova. Could play this. Like, it, this gives them value on their Iron Diet, right? I don't really like doing that. Only can you. <laughs> I don't like this, man. I don't like this. Ah, golds. Golds. I need golds. No. Okay. Um, we have currently one, two, three, four. Not a lot of golds. Ah. Okay, we're gonna bait removal with this. They're gonna play the thingy here. Right. They're gonna play the removal here. Erendite? Erendite? Why you don't play Erendite, mate? Why you no Erendite? You're not supposed to do that. Okay. Since we can't really do anything about this. And we were supposed to hit this. It's like... We're, like, it's the Rugner value, right? I think we're supposed to do that. Rugner value. Uh, their error rate, I think, is like at 12 something. Okay. That's cool. Um, wait, they're playing all this melee? Well, let me tell you, Mr. Opponent. Nice. Something good. Uh, this, this is decent. This, this, this. I can kill one thing. I don't want to kill this though. I mean, I have to. a pretty clear this man 
Oh, maybe it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. I hope. So we're gonna. I think our line is pretty, pretty much fixed here, right? We don't really have that much play. Do you have still any tutorial here? No, I don't think so. Pretty much our only play. The Rugner is gonna be popping off. Very nice value. Rugner now. Oh. Yeah, this one is not looking that close. Uh, And we missed. Uh, is it here? We can ping this for three value over the Rugner. We could ping this for one extra value on our amnesty. But honestly, I don't think anything matters. There, um, I mean, it's really like, you know, maybe, maybe you can still do something about this, I don't know. Yeah. It doesn't do, it really doesn't matter. So if we have Rugner here, maybe things will have went differently. Maybe. All shield. Maybe. Yeah, it's not looking that hot. So yeah, anyway, um, I think the deck works. It's just very not fortunate. Um, we didn't draw our golds. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's not the deck's fault, guys. It's just we didn't draw our golds. But yeah, anyway, I think this deck is actually kind of fun. Um, I think the game plan is just to win round one, push round two, two zero, and try to two zero. But sadly, we didn't get to do that uh, at any of our matches. We got pretty unlucky with the matchup, and yeah, I I think it's gonna be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and see you next time. Bye bye.